Let me briefly address how this is different when you use the Andor EM camera. So to use the Andor EM camera, there are two things that we need to do. The first is to click here. This switches everything to the Andor EM camera. And the second is on the microscope itself to pull out the slider so that the light physically goes to that camera. Now, when you use this camera, you'll note that there's another digitizer. There's something called the EM gain, and then there's something called exposure. So do not use the EM gain, and do not modify the digitizer. There are a number of sort of detailed EMCCD settings, which you can access here. Uh, and if you are here, you can go back to the normal taskbar by clicking there. I would recommend you don't start trying any of those without having a long discussion with me about what would be more convenient. Uh, and certainly don't increase this above 300 because you can actually damage this camera if you do that. So keep this at 300 and then just modify the exposure. Uh, one thing to note is that this camera has fewer pixels than the other camera uh, and the pixels are bigger. So if we take an image with this camera, the image should look uh, typically brighter. Uh, because it's a more sensitive camera, and also chunkier because the pixels are much bigger uh, by a factor of two actually on each side, so sort of four times more light per pixel. Um, so again, uh, this is the camera to use if it's more important for you to have high sensitivity rather than high resolution. There's a bit of an art in determining which camera you should use, uh, let me know if you have questions.